I'm Alice Twan. I'm a playwright. I come from Los Angeles, California. I grew up in the San Fernando Valley. My foray into theater was kind of accidental. I consider myself a, an accidental playwright. Growing up uh, yellow in a white world and a, a female in a man's world, um, I'm like, oh, I'm not seeing myself out in the world, out in the greater American culture. Going into playwriting is kind of a, a random thing. I knew I wanted to write, I wanted to express. Growing up in the, in the 70s, it's like Asian people were like anchor people, cooks, gardeners, or ice skaters. And I felt like theater, more than television and film, had more elasticity as far as the portrayals of Asians. So my grandmother and grandfather came to live with us. I mean, my grandmother came from an age where the feet were still bound. I mean, her feet were let go at a young age because 1911 was the Chinese Revolution. So she had, you know, bigger than the three-inch lotus, but it's still, they were, they were small. So it's like living with these anachronisms in this very Chinese household. My father would come home from work every day to cook them Chinese, a Chinese meal. He was very loyal to his parents. And, uh, and then going and being schooled in American thought. Freedom, fun, the valley, driving, going to the beach and everything. So I, I think I was... Um, I was going through something that I understand to be cultural schizophrenia. The Chinese are more into kind of long suffering, patience, industriousness, and the American suburban kind of values were fun, freedom, instant gratification. And so these very, very polar opposites um, were very, very uh, bewildering to me, confusing to me. My whole endeavor in writing is to be able to fuse it and come to this synthesis point where it's something completely new. And I think that that's, that's the point that I'm always aiming for in my playwriting. I didn't really know theater, it was just kind of intuitive, like what hadn't I seen before that I wanted to put out there? You know, I wrote this play called Dim Sums, which is about this dim sum girl who's kind of enslaved in a dim sum parlor and she's just pushing this dim sum cart around and around. So it's like, hi girl, see oh my, fuck you, eat me, you know? And so she'd be like saying Cantonese and then people are like, is that Chinese? And then at one point, uh, three people are wrapped in sheets with triangular white caps as dumplings with this like inside of a life-size tin and they start uttering sounds and by the time they make words, they're steamed and they're dead and then they're eaten. Paula Vogel, when she came, she read this play, Dim Sums, and, and she invited me to go to Brown. I was experimenting with something called virtual hypertext theater, where we would be simulating computers in live stage space. I had a, a, a mouse who was on roller skates who would have the letters that represented each scene. So the play was called Coastline. So the first scene was C, the second scene was O, A-S-T-L-I-N-E. That's the natural order of two drifters who are driving from East Coast to West Coast. And then, so each of those letters would be in a box and go into the audience and people would just choose and that would become the new word. Could you tell a story out of order? And if so, is it the same story? Ajax is a powder that sprinkles out white. When it gets wet, it turns blue. So I, I decided to start writing a play about the Puritan undertow to all of our sexual freedom. And that, you know, and I thought, I'm gonna write, make this an impossible play. This is gonna be a play that no one can produce. I specifically didn't write anything about ethnicity. In fact, I considered it kind of a white play. It's literally, the whole stage is tiled in white with a drain with workable water and just like one little sepulcher, like right in the middle, like one little. And so it's basically about um, four people who get together to have sex. I got very freaked out. I thought, I brought evil into the world. I mean, there's a really horrific act in it that I'm like, there's no way. But I challenged myself. I wanted to make it impossible. I made it impossible, but it's only impossible because we live in a, you know, a moral society. Isn't this your most often performed play? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it is. You know, the, this play that's in the International Digital Playwriting Festival called Cox Crow. Um, it's basically about American business people trying to do business in China, but not understanding how the Chinese government works and also not trusting their own team. I was kind of riffing off of Glengarry Glen Ross. So the first two scenes are kind of in, in, a pair, in kind of dialogue with the first two scenes of Glengarry Glen Ross, and then it explodes open. And then this has been a strategy. It's like take a known work, you know, kind of respond to it, and then open it up 
into a, a more female center or a less white center.